Go for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are doing 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is the first half of the fresh case. Random team break number 13 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We've got from Kyle down to Trevor. Uh, remember, we combo the Orioles and Cubs, and we combo the Cardinals and Nationals. Let's randomize each list. Eight times, three and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Alfonso down to Lee Keller. And then once again, three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, why do I have 29 here? I didn't add the right amount of teams. Oh, that's why. I don't know why I added that there. <laughs> Cubs, Orioles are comboed. This is what happens in a live show, folks. Nationals and Cardinals are comboed. Three to five, eight times for this list right here. One, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eighth and final time. I know. I added a baseball spot there. What does that even mean, Lee? What does that baseball spot imply? Marlins down to Astros. All right. Here we go. Alfonso with the Marlins. Landon with the Blue Jays. Rich with the Tampa Bay Rays. Kyle with the White Sox. We've got Ed with the Twins, DC with the Diamondbacks, Chad with the Royals, Alan with the Phillies, Pirates for Rich, Anthony with the Padres, uh, Joe with the Rangers, Angels for Rich, Colin with the Reds, Lee, you have my Dodgers, nice, Alex Donnelly with the Mariners, V with the Orioles-Cubs combo, Scott, you have the Rockies and Yankees, Karen with the Giants, Big Boys 007, Tigers, Mike Coots with the Mets, Indians for Ed, Don, DC with the Reds, Rich with the Brew Crew, Trevor, last spot, Mojo, Cardinals and Nationals combo. Lee Keller with the Braves. A's for Brian and Lee with the Astros. Now, remember, this is the 2017 draft class is featured heavily in this. So make sure you do your research on the high round draft picks in 2017. I should have this list up, too. I like having this list up just so it helps me give you more information during the break. So there you go. So those are the big the big names that you're chasing in this in this set. Although Hunter Green for the Reds is not in this set. There's a handful of players that aren't on here, but most of the first round draft picks are. All right, so let's print this list out. Feel free to trade if you'd like. Looks like Lee is looking for the Angels or the Rays or the White Sox. So while people are thinking about trades, let's pop this guy open. And let's see which half of the case we're going to do. All right, so we'll we'll roll the die. See which which die I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll use. I like I like this one right here. All right, one two three for the top row, four five six for the bottom row, and it's five. So one two three four five six. The bottom row is what we're gonna do. The top row we will save for next time. That's RT fourteen. So this is break thirteen. We are doing. 14 after this. So RT 14. There you go. And I'm sure we'll do that at some point tonight. Usually we've, we've been going through about a case a night recently at 20 bucks a spot. Not too, not too shabby of a break at all. All right. Um, any trades? Looks like a Mets Astros trade. Mike Kuntz and Lee. Sure, says Lee. Okay, great. Confirm, says Mike Kuntz. Thank you very much. There it is. Confirmed. So Lee gets his Mets.
and Astros goes to Mike. Awesome, it's official there, and we'll make it official here. So he gets his team. There you go, that's break 13, folks. here get comfortable folks this is a this is like another 35 40 minutes in this break and good luck to all so now once once Otani got picked up and once Stanton was moved now it seems like all all the action is happening so it looks like um, it looks like uh, what you call it. Ozuna now went to the Cardinals. Oh, do you need to see the list again, Trevor? You have the you have the Cardinals and Nationals actually. There you go. And it was on the screen before. You can actually rewind on YouTube if you need to see the list again. YouTube works like a DVR, but make sure you come back and click live so you don't lag behind. Everybody, but now once so once the Otani domino and the Giancarlo Stanton domino fell, now everybody's being moved around. I think Ozuna went to the Cardinals. I think Mangara Sierra went the other way to Miami. Um, obviously, D. Gordon was moved, and then uh, that, but that was before Stanton, I think, um, and Otani. Uh, Ian Kinsler went to the went to the Angels. So now the Angels have a nice veteran second baseman sitting there. Brandon Morrow got signed by the Dodgers. Uh, what other moves have have there been? We were just talking about it a little bit before, off camera or off recording. All right. The great thing about the Marlins now, though, uh, is that you're going to see a lot of these guys a lot sooner. I think. Remember, paper base doesn't ship, by the way, but everything else does. Uh, but we might be seeing a lot of those Marlins a lot sooner. All right, so let's breeze through the paper. The Chrome will ship. This paper parallels will ship, though. 46 out of 499. Jake Berger. Did I see bacon near there? All right, there's Jake Berger. That'll go to the White Sox. That'll be for Kyle Plant. And more paper. Breeze through this paper. Chrome will ship. There's Anthony Greer. 33 out of 399. Nice. The Diamondbacks 39th overall pick back in 2016. DC with the Snakes. Our rivals. One of our rivals. The Giants would be our main rivals though. Ricky Henderson, young looking Ricky Henderson. Lee, who has the Braves, looking for some Kyle Wright. Kyle Wright was a top draft pick, right? Yeah, he was he's a top five pick, number five pick from Vanderbilt. Big baseball powerhouse. Our first autograph is D.L. Hall. That goes to the Orioles Cubs combo for V. D.L. Hall, hoping that he never ends up on the D.L. 55 out of 150. 21st overall by the Orioles. Nice. Paper. Paper parallel, Tanner Hawk. Out of 499 for the Red Sox, that'll go to DC.
Jordan saying Edgar Edgar Martinez doing well in Hall of Fame voting and that excites him like no other. Corey Ray, nice Corey Ray for the Brew Crew, Purple Chrome, two fifty. Fifth overall back in two thousand sixteen. Brewers have a nice young team coming up the ranks. Rich with the Brew Crew. I like that. Uh, I think Jack Morris and Alan Trammell recently got in the Hall of Fame. Thanks to the committee. Well deserved. And look at this. Wow. Class of 2017, Brendan McKay. Your fourth overall pick from Louisville. And a two way player, a pitcher and a hitter. He wants to do both. That goes to the Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Rich. Nice one, Rich. That is a very strong hit. He's on He's on the box right there. That's how big of a hit that is. Nice. Actually... Mixing up my paper and chrome stacks here. All right, there you go. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like a lot of times when we see an insert auto, there could be a bonus auto, as Lee is suggesting. There seems there's still a lot of cards left, so this might be ripe for a bonus auto. Let's see. For the Dodgers, using El Diaz, 169 out of 399. Big name in the Dodgers system. Lee has my Dodgers. Oh, nice. Rich, did you hit the base auto last night too? Well, excellent. See, you're not building your Brandon McKay PC. Not a bad PC to have if he ends up being a successful two-way player. Blue paper, Clark Schmidt. Out of 150 for the Yankees. That'll go to Scott. And the last little stack here. Let's see if we have a bonus auto or a nice parallel, maybe. <laughs> bonus auto, nice. No, that's just the third auto, sorry. I thought I thought there was gonna be more. Maybe not, so maybe just the regular three autos. All right, there's Hans Kraus for the Rangers. Joe Fagundis. All right, now let's look for that bonus auto. Come on, bonus auto. Sometimes when you see an insert auto, there'll be a bonus auto, sometimes. No, Jemai Jones, out of 200, for the Angels, that'll go to Rich, and no bonus auto. Really wanted that bonus auto. I'll slide these over here. We'll top load those a little bit later. All right. Next box. See, there he is as a pitcher and as a hitter. I believe he has cards of both. One of them is more shorter printed than the other, I think. Nice box topper. Gotcha. So Lee is saying that the pitching base card is a shorter print. So the insert auto that I've uh, of me, yeah, that's the pitching edition of him. So that's shorter printed, right? Actually, no. Aren't these serial numbered? Yeah, they are. It's out of two fifty. These 
box hoppers are fun too. Lo love that they included box hoppers in here. Some of the box hoppers can be autographed, right? I'm pretty sure, pretty sure there's autographed versions of box hoppers as well. Oh, there's two different versions of his base auto, I see. Second box. We got Ronald Acuna, the sky blue parallel refractor out of 399. For the Braves, that'll be for Lee and the Bravos. Gold coming up. Nice. That's Brendan McKay gold paper. Two out of 50. That's a nice one for Rich and the Rays, your fourth overall pick. There's our first autograph out of this box. Stuart Fairchild. Stuart Fairchild for the Reds, Colin Matoy and the Red Legs. Hans Kraus saw his autograph earlier. There's his paper parallel out of 499. Joe with the Rangers. Mason House and Tyler Ivey for the Astros. 46 out of 99, third round pick. For the Strohs, that goes to Mike Koontz. Got the Strohs in a trade. It's all paper right here. And Charlie Barnes. Barnesy is what they call him. 58 out of 90. I don't know if they call him Barnesy. They probably do. Charlie Barnes for the Twins. Green going to Ed and the Twins. Fifty eight out of ninety nine. All right, there's Mark. Mark's in the house. He wants to do that Prism random team break, folks. Prism basketball, full case Prism basketball random team on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Jordan wants to do the um, Prism uh, basketball pick your team. You can do that too. For the Brew Crew, Isan Diaz out of 200. That's for Rich. Here's more paper. So we can do Prism Basketball. We can do Court Kings Basketball. We can do the brand new uh, Totally Certified Basketball. We can do more of this baseball. We can do the second half of Bowman Draft. So we've got a lot of things to do. Just go to jazbeeshobbyland.com, ladies and gentlemen. Browse around. 121 out of 150. The Fireballer. Michael Kopech. It's for Kyle and the White Sox.
One more auto to go. Lee looking for a looking for a Mr. Right. He's looking for Mr. Right. Ladies and gentlemen. Big Braves prospect Kyle Wright, to be more specific. And not quite. There's Corbin Martin, though. Mike Coon's getting the Astros in a trade. Nice one for Mike Coons. Lee says, Kyle or David, either right, we'll, we'll be fine with him. Is David right in this set? That would be pretty cool. I know, I know sometimes they sneak in some very rare cards like that. Vets. All right. Next one. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, 90, not like 95% of this set is uh, is basically future stars and, and recent prospects, draftees, hence the name draft. But every once in a while, I feel like they will they will throw in like an out of five like vet auto or something. I don't know. I haven't studied. I haven't looked at the checklist, but sometimes some years they've done that, or in similar sets they've done something like that. The second half of this case is in the store, folks. I fully expect that to happen. Uh, I fully expect that to happen tonight. We've got plenty of breaking time to go. A lot of the evening to go. So I'm sure we can make that happen. Are, are Derek Jeter autos in this, Rich? Oh, that's crazy. All right. Well, that, Scott Scott would be happy if I pulled him a Derek Jeter auto. Oh, it's like the Tomei out of five that I got left. Gotcha, except autographed. I see, I see. Newman. Kevin Newman. Out of 399 for the Pirates. That'll go to Rich and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And this is all paper. Got some purple paper. Morgan Cooper for Lee. 225 out of 250. Coop, as they call him. Pretty sure that I'm pretty sure they call him that. Second round pick. Oh yeah, so I hit I hit there was a red background version of this. That was out of five. That's on our Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland. I guess some of these are autographed too. Do the Dodgers have Jordan Sheffield autos in this set? That would be pretty cool. Austin Beck. Nice Austin Beck. That is your sixth overall pick from North Davidson High School in North Carolina. Uh, no Jordan Sheffield autos. All right. So that goes to the Oakland A's. 69 out of 75. Nice. That's a nice one for Brian Matoy and the Oakland A's.
Kramer out of 499. So we have Newman right here and Kramer right over here. We'll look for a Jerry and a Lane in this set. Let me know if you see one. For the Mets, 111 out of 150, Carl Stage, Stage Duhar. I'm going to go with Stage Duhar, Lee. Lee with the Mets in a trade. Gets this parallel out of 150. This is all paper. Mike K likes that uh, Patrick Kane card that I pulled out of uh, Upper Deck Black. You wish you had it? I could get you one. Just join the break, $14.99 for Upper Deck Black. That's a really cheap, easy, and fun way to try to chase the big names in hockey. Brand new release today, folks. All on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Second half of Bowman Draft on jazbeeshobbyland.com as well. And for Lee and the Mets, Mark Vientos. Nice. The 59th overall pick for the Mets. There you go. And you needed that Vientos Auto? Now you don't. There you go, Lee. Nice. Excellent. Glad to be of service for your personal collection. Jaspi's always happy to do that. Now we just need to find you that Kyle Wright. Now we just need to find a Mr. Wright. Paper right here. Blue paper, Morgan Cooper out of 150. Nice. Lee saying that Mark Vientos has gotten some Manny Machado comparisons. It's not a bad comparison. You, Lee, do you think Manny Machado gets moved in this offseason? Orioles are apparently at least listening. There's Dylan Busby, purple chrome for the uh, Pirates. That goes to Rich. There you go, Rich. 156 out of 250. Next, is he a free agent next offseason? I think it's got to be. I think this is his last year before he's an unrestricted free agent. Unless I unless I'm off by a year. Wilbur Becerra for the Mets. Out of two fifty. Did did I miss an autograph? I don't think I did. I guess sometimes that happens. Oh, I put it right there. Come on, other pile. Come on, Joe. I'm losing my mind. I did forget this, though. Juan Hillman out of 399. All the chrome ships, so you would have gotten it anyway, but now it's sleeved up properly. All right, there we go. Other pile. Losing my mind. I haven't had enough coffee today. I think that's what it is. All right, last box. Good luck, folks. Oh, we saying that that uh, that Becerra was was designated for assignment. 
buy. And Lee says he doesn't think that Machado goes anywhere. Does anyone, what does everyone else think? Machado doesn't go anywhere. Orioles are taking offers, or at least accepting phone calls and listening. They got to move. Well, I feel like the Orioles are. They don't want. They want to have it both ways. I think they want to try to be stay competitive and try to make it to the playoffs, feel the good team, but yet also try to try to get some uh, build within with some young players. I feel like pitching has always been an issue for the the Orioles for a long time. I feel like they never quite. They've always seemed to have the offense. But their starting pitching never quite has gotten it together. Now that they have Zach Britton, but now that Zach Britton seems to be too much of an asset to keep, so they're trying to move him for assets for younger players to come up the ranks. So we'll see what the Orioles do. They seems like they've been kind of in a no-man's land. If we have a moment tonight, I know we're, we're a little busy tonight, but if we have a moment later tonight... Or maybe in the next moment draft break, we'll kind of discuss what what every team's needs are and if they're actually going to do anything or not. Hope springs eternal in the offseason and in spring training, of course. Who will be the next Aaron Judge? Who will be the next Cody Bellinger? Etc., etc. All right. Good luck, everybody. We'll lead off with Matt Tabor. A lot of paper here. More paper, Chrome, Nick Rackett for the Nationals at a 399. I'll go to the Cardinals Nationals combo. What do the Nationals need? Nationals maybe need some consistency in, in the manager position. It seems like they're changing that up all the time, maybe too often. They have, they have the team, it feels like. They just need to put it all together. That's a scary thing. There are so many teams that are maybe just a lot of great baseball teams. You know, there's just a few teams that just need to put it together. And if something just clicks for them, I mean, that, that could be another big team. It could go deep in the playoffs. There's Jacob Pearson. Angels got close to the playoffs last year. They looked pretty good, even without a couple months of Mike Trout. So now they're out making big moves in the offseason. Starting pitching, I think. That's the big need for them. Angels, that goes to Rich. Rich with the Angels. We've got a gold DL Hall. Nice. Orioles, Cubs combo for V. Your 21st overall pick out of 50. In pitchers like him. DL Hall is a pitcher out of uh, Vladosta High School in Georgia. So he may not we may not see him for a while. Takes the high school players a couple years longer than the college players, obviously. Purple paper, Kyle Wright, at a 250. That's your fifth overall pick. Lee wanted ink on something like this, but maybe maybe that's a sign, Lee. Could be a sign. Still have another autograph to go. Two autographs to go. So this is just paper. And Seth Corey for the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Karen Steele, 
She has the Giants. She has the Oppo Joe Mojo. Third round pick. We got Seth Corey again, this time paper parallel out of four ninety nine, Karen. All right, there's our last stack coming up. Remember, we have the second half of this Bowman draft in the store right now. Jaspieshobbyland.com would love to do it tonight. I'm sure it will happen tonight. So don't miss out. Anis Tejeda out of 200 for the Rangers. That'll be for Joe Fagundis. More paper. And the last bit, green paper, Colton Hawk out of 99. For the Marlins, that'll be for Alfonso. Nice, I thought I saw that. Hawkeye. Hawkeye is his Twitter. Good one, Colton. Nice. And the last one is for the Phillies. Adam Hazley. There you go, 117 out of 499. Adam Hazley for the Philadelphia Phillies. Alan Murdoch on the board at the very, very end. And there you have it, boys and girls. That was a half case, random team break, number 13 from jazbeeshobbyland.com of the brand new, of the latest Bowman Draft Baseball, which has been really, really good. So keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com for more. Uh, and let's do the second half. There's our website right there. Let's do the second half, folks. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.